Slap, you slap. This is the only way. This is the destiny of all. Whoa, 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 whoa. There was no room. Calm down. Ah! It's okay, it's okay. Man, we fed him only a couple of missions ago. And now we consumed him. Big dinosaur is dead. Yep. Zerus is mine. Isha, prepare the Leviathan. It's time the swarm... Leviathan. Or as they say in France, Leviathan. I think that's what they say in France. I think that's about right. What's going on, John? Mengsk will suffer. Mengsk will suffer? Yeah. Kerrigan kind of ends up saving the universe. Leviathan. Thank you very much, John. My queen. Yes. Transformation queen. has altered your ability. <laughs> it really is, Papuch. Oh, I was joking. Leviathan. That's beautiful, man. Do I speak French or Spanish? Si. That's about all I know in Spanish, though. Levi jeans? Dude, I got an ad this morning for Levi jeans on Instagram. Let me show you guys real quick, okay? This is nuts. I took a screenshot of it and posted it on Discord, because that's how stupid I thought it was. Um, Levi's apparently are considered to be quite cheap in the US or something? They have relatively cheap ones too, I guess, in the Netherlands. So I got this ad right over here, right? Official Levi's page on Instagram. Sorry, what? So, sorry, what? That's $600? Who's out there buying $600 Levi's? There's no way that anybody does that. I don't know, man. I feel like if it said 54 euro, I would have believed it. Yeah, maybe there's a typo in the advertisement. Maybe it was supposed to be 54.95 rather than 544.95. Let's do a price comparison right now. What's this? You just linked? GNCO? What am I supposed to... No, 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 no. The decimal point is in the wrong place. Usually we don't use three decimal points, though. No? Now we know the price segment that Loco <laughs> normally shops at. Mate, I don't think I've ever spent even remotely that much money on anything. What is the most expensive piece of clothing I've bought? I have a suit that I think I paid maybe like 400 euro for? Does that count? I don't know. No, I don't have a motorcycle, no. Okay, we got a loco suit stream. <laughs> I just go live in a full suit and give you guys no explainer at all. Just completely suit and tie, no explainer the entire stream long. When everybody asks in the chat, we just ignore it entirely. Yeah. That's a great plan. Just ignore all about it. Like nothing's changed. Like this is just a normal stream. <laughs> You have custom-made breastplate armor that you paid $2,000 for? You can't say that and then not post the photos, Spleen Lord. You do realize that, right? 
Custom made breastplate armor? Hmm. April 1st? Oh my god. April 1st, fully suited up. Very good. You're not wearing it right now? I don't even think I own a tie. I'm trying to think if I own a tie. I don't think I own a tie anymore. When do you ever use a tie in 2024, guys? Not a very common thing. Work? What jobs require you to wear a tie, though, in 2024? There's some places, I guess, that still require them, yeah. In the Netherlands, it's not very common anymore. Yeah, I guess in law and stuff, yeah, finance, law, that sort of thing. You always wear a tie? Every day? It's kinda hype, dude. AKA a real jobs. Are you saying the only people in the chat that have real jobs are the people in finance and the guys that do law? Those are real jobs? Everything else is fake? Oh yeah, yeah, I had no idea. We still need to travel to Oh my China. god, what is this? Formerly the swarm's primary hive cluster in the Caprulu sector. A festering one? Shut up, Isha. Shoots banelings that reduce the target or the armor of targets? Wait, 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 this is a large baneling that shoots banelings? Hmm. There's also an abomination with spikes. A heavy frontline assault unit deals extra damage to armored foes, can walk over small units, and attack air and ground. So it can attack air? Yo, we heard you like banelings. So we made a big baneling that shoots banelings. Yeah. Great plan, honestly. Thank you, by the way, Lost Omen for the Prime subscription. I don't remember thanking you, but I do appreciate you. I think the third one was a graphical glitch. Okay. You have unselected the powerful essence of the primal pack leaders has awakened a new column and many I love abilities. columns. As new tiers of abilities continue to awaken, you will The Queen's Dance. Brute Queens gain the benefits of all mutations well. and have plus 50 maximum energy. Okay. Armor upgrades increase the maximum life of units by 5% per level. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 I'll take that. Extractors automatically extract Vespian gas without... No, 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 we're going Zirkling Reconstitution. Um, all ability cooldowns are reduced by 35%. Drones can now build the Omega Law network that allows for the usage of Omega Law worms. Omega Law Worms cost nothing, emerge instantly, spread creep, allow for transportation between different Omega Law Worms, and provide detection around themselves. They're detectors? They're free and they're detectors. There's no law loco? Oh, okay, okay. Um, and then rapid expansion. Hatcheries are 50% cheaper, and all structures build 100% faster. All structures cause no Vespian gas to build. All ability cooldowns... No, I'm, I think I'm a rapid expansion guy. Yeah. Another tier. The enhanced synapsis. Or synapsis. Zerk ground units move 60% faster on creep. <sighs> Your structures gain increased life regeneration and 50% increased attack speed on creep. Creep tumors spread cre creep faster and farther. <laughs> farther. <laughs> Far, farther. Um, Vespian gas, blah, blah, blah. No, we're gonna go movement speed. I think that's fun. One of your brood Yo. Zagara, refuses to acknowledge Yo. Uh, Valeria. Thank you very much. Before you can reclaim Char from the Terrans, 
So I got the festering one here. Long range seed unit, a uh, siege unit. It shoots bane links that reduce the armor of of targets. Okay, I'm very excited for this thing. Let's go. I kind of feel like today is another cup of coffee day, guys. But then I would have to go downstairs and make coffee. I probably shouldn't be. Zagara's brood is currently huddled in Char's acid. Can I make bane links? Wait, why not choose that now? Right now? Only festering ones can pick up eggs and rescue baneling nests. They can be morphed from devouring ones. With the power of the primal pack leaders obtained, drones now morph in pairs. You are not the queen of blades. You have no claim here, traitor. Shut the fuck up, Zagara. I am. While you can. These eggs and this swarm. 225 gas each and 97 minerals. That is very specific. Why 97 minerals? Zagara has drawn the attention of some feral banelings. They are attacking her. Oh my god. You'll kill me with minions? At least fight me yourself. Banelings very useful. Morph from zerglings. Any Zergling can morph to Baneling. Any Zergling can morph to Baneling. That's beautiful. They look very clumsy. Why did it look so stretched? What happened to you guys? I can sense the unhatched eggs. Now I just have to get them before Zagara. Command, we've found Kerrigan. She's holed up in a Zerg base. Oh, then we've located the Zerg You're shooting banelings. Deploy assault teams. Yeah, I think that's a little strong. Like I'm just thinking out loud here, but I've got a feeling that's pretty good. Defeat me a thousand times, and I will always return. I think I'm just gonna make those guys, to be honest. New intel again. Zork passively gain eggs or Zagara rather, rescuing baneling nests on the map will slow the rate. Alright. Destroy the Dominion Planetary Fortress before collecting the baneling eggs. Didn't I already collect them? No, I guess I didn't. So... Okay, I gotta be a little careful here, because there's a lot of stuff that is basically automated. But fair. Um, I'll go ahead and make that expansion. We'll get... Actually, is it ranged or melee upgrades for these main links? It's missile. Okay. There we go. I'll spread some creep around the map too. So I think I can collect these. I just cannot get the free main link nests. That are sometimes set up. No Zagara to collect any eggs? There's a rich Vespian geyser over here. Okay. Warning. A wave of zerglings is approaching our hive cluster. How much extra supply is it? It's three extra supply. Oh, I should definitely get armor upgrades too, actually, now that I think about it. Let's just go triple Evo. So the cocoons are still tiny. How does something that large pop out of a cocoon that small? That's what she's... No. No, hold up. Mm. No, 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 chat. No, 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 no. I guess Ultralisk do the same thing. That's a good point. So it looks like there's another mineral line over here, but I don't think it is. No. So this is one of those free baneling nest things. But I apparently cannot wake it up yet, because that ruins my... So I don't actually want to... Oh, only... Wait, that's what I don't want to do, right? 
Wait, what? Why did it not fail? Is that supposed to fail or does it mean like all? Like say I, I collect them all, then I'm in trouble. Oh, this is the main objective. Ah, okay, okay, gotcha. Nearby. All right. They seem to be of interest to the feral zerg. I'll destroy them if I get a chance. You will do nothing because you're not doing anything. We require more Vespin. Okay, we're getting additional upgrades going. Right, so that makes sense though. I'll get a Hydra then as well, just because I do need some anti-air, it seems. Just some anti-air would be fine. Here's Agara again. <laughs> Shooting Banelings is quite, quite strong. I'm glad that these things are also going to get an extra mutation. So there's actually a uh, Terran base up there. Broodmother Zagara is one quarter of the way to collecting the egg she needs. Only one quarter? Kind of pathetic. Oh, okay. I was trying to infest it, but I guess I just didn't have energy. No, my queen was just not close by. You are halfway to amassing enough eggs to overwhelm Zagara's hive cluster. <laughs> Get him, boys! Okay, I have to make some more hydras. Now I shall pay? I thought I was already paying. Okay. Um, got my upgrades here. Pretty powerful. And I'll rally in a bunch more workers in that direction. Whoa, what's this? Widowmind drop? Are there Widowmines in this campaign? They were in. Oh, it's a Hellbat drop! To be fair, I have devouring ones though. Yeah, they're pretty strong. Just the Zerklings alone are pretty good. Okay, so I gotta go and kill that planetary. Are they slow pushing me right now? Is that what's going on? I kind of want to try and see if I can clear the map. Is that an option? We'll go for the top left, I guess, first. I have a lot of Banelink shooters right now. AKA Banelinks. I sense more eggs. Here. Are you guys shooting across the little chasm? <laughs> Reasonable. Reasonable. Very normal strategy. Wouldn't be concerned about that if I were you. We destroyed the last infested Terran structure. Um, so where is that planetary fortress that I have to kill? Is it the Oh, it's that thing right over there. I thought it was the command center in this section of the map, where it normally is, but it's not. Okay, well, we'll move on over in that direction in a moment. Oh. This seems like a problem. They have regular banelings. How boring. Okay, these guys don't have a whole lot of HP, it seems. Well, I have 220 HP. 
Hmm. Can you shoot him across the crevice? These ultras are nutty, dude. I've been making troops. Let me remind you how the Zerg fight. So, since there are no queen injects in this campaign, you get like four larva per base. Losing a hatchery is actually kind of painful because you can never macro properly. We should defend with all available forces. No, this cannot be. Okay. I do need this base. Just make five macro hatcheries. Yeah, but you you do run out of minerals in these campaigns usually. So like making a whole lot of extra macro hatcheries feels pretty bad. But then again, I guess I should have been able to spend here, and I would have been fine. Okay. We require more Vespin gas. These bases are still pretty healthy. I got all my upgrades done. Pushing into a bunch of siege tanks. Brilliant plan, as per usual. Are they running freaking bailings into my hatchery? She's very mean. You know what she's lacking? Vision. She has no vision at all. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Okay. Hey, we are starting to break through this section of the map. Let me try and blow up this planetary real quick for the bonus. <laughs> okay. Shooting banelings at it is quite powerful. Pull back. Repeat. All Dominion forces in the trench. Retreat. Wait. We've lost control. The trench is not until next mission. Hold up right now, uh, Mr. Uh, whatever your name was. What's your name again? Warfield. I mean, Warfield. That's how he's pronounced usually in the campaign. Another Gorgon. Send in. I am the swarm. I am the chi- Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I am the one who makes a brighter day. That's my favorite part about being the swarm. I should teach her about patience. No, 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 vision. Dude, having banglings that siege from a distance and throw banglings is quite powerful. Infinite banglings for 225 gas is a good deal. Buy one, get infinite ones for free. Pretty hype. Um, do I have to go here? Not really. They always announce that they are back. This is what I do as well when I come home. Whenever I've gone anywhere in Loran's home, I always tell her like that. I have returned, and now you shall pay. She's always a bit confused about it. No, no, no. I recommend Honey, I'm Home to be replaced with I Have Returned. And now you shall pay. Although that might be something that could be difficult to explain in court. If that ever were to be brought up. Your Honor, he said, 
I am now home, and now you shall pay. It's like, <laughs> I have <laughs> that. That could, yeah, no. That could certainly be misinterpreted. You usually play the Imperial March when you walk in. Very nice. Da, 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 da. Maybe you should do that in the chat as well. Oh jeez. <laughs> we still get all the free banelings? 424 gas? Or supply rotter? That is... Acceptable. I will allow it. Uh, it does get a little bit laggy though. Yeah, 60 FPS. 50? 40? 42? Time for a new computer! I'm gonna just send in the banelings. I just point stuff where I want it to fire, and then everything dies. It's kinda like playing Skytles. Like, look at this. This hive. See? It's dead. Flying Lurker? Thank you very much. Casual 10 community subs. Appreciate it. Thank you. Glad you still enjoy. Kill her. I only did as you instructed, my queen. We should have this in multiplayer. Oh. Absolutely. I told you to rebel against me. You told all your brood mothers to be strong, to fight. To conquer. You said the Zerg lead by force of will. Your will is strongest, and I shall Yes, serve you. Flying Lurker should be renamed. I will let you. We now have a Swarm Lurker, which is even better than a Flying Lurker. Yeah, I, I didn't think that this day would come either, Flying, but that is what I, uh... That is what I've learned. Aww. They're kind of cute. Zagara is here to serve your will. Tell me, Zagara, how would you drive the Terrans from this world? Yeah, too bad if you don't like your new name. Um, we got this thing called the Swarm Lurker, and it's insanely powerful. I think I'm gonna do one more mission. One more mission. In the Bone Trench. Eroding acid lasts twice as long, and each festering one and splitterling attacks apply two sta- What? Eroding acid lasts twice as long, and each festering one and splitterling attacks apply two stacks instead- Okay, whatever. Split bailing radius or split bailing blast radius rather increased by 65%. Increased base attack damage dealt to primary target by 100%. Splash damage remains the same. Yo, I love this. Yes, let's go with that. You're gonna go eat burgers? Nice. A nice healthy dinner. You're gonna eat burgers at 5 p.m.? I feel like 5 p.m. burger time is a strange time for burgers, no? A healthy Monday. Okay. 
What is the cutoff for burgers? I don't think burgers have a cutoff. But I feel like burgers are more like a 11 a.m. to like 2 p.m. food. And then like it starts up again at like 6 p.m., you know, until like midnight. I, I think I think that's the, 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 the timing window for burgers. 5 p.m. is not a timing window for burgers. That's what I'm thinking. I do like cooking, yeah. Eleven AM? Eleven AM burgers. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, maybe noon. Maybe noon. You're right. What about people who eat dinner early? That's a good point. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What's this message? Widow minds are fun? You like to eat dinner for breakfast? I have heard of breakfast for dinner. Dinner for breakfast? What does that mean? You're having like steak for breakfast? Something like that? Yeah, pretty hype. You like cooking, but you hate the time investment? I don't really like grocery shopping very much. I'm not big on, on uh, I don't know. I like making food when I have all the stuff there, but I don't really like the preparation work. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes any sense. Also, don't really love the aftermath, you know, of having to, like, you know, clean it or put it in a dishwasher or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we had a discussion about steak and eggs the other day. Apparently, uh, steak and eggs, I think, is popular in the States. I'm not sure. Yeah, I learned I learned as well that that is a thing. The Dutch standard lunch is also breakfast. Oh yeah, Dutch cuisine is very boring. I had a very Dutch uh, breakfast today, guys. I had two slices of bread with cheese. Didn't even bother buttering the, the the bread. I just I just had toast and then I slapped cheese on it. That's what I did. It's pretty good. Refried steak and eggs is not a bad brunch. Refried? So you're saying you had leftover steak? Hmm. You would have to have leftover steak in the first place, you know? Loco, did you hear about Cyril? Oh god, what happened to Cyril? Did you hear about Cyril? Blade, what does this mean? You can't just drop that in the chat. Oh, grilled cheese is really nice. I will agree with you on that. He's starting his military service next month. Yeah, he said he had to do it this year. I didn't realize he had to start it next month, but... He has to do his mandatory military service. They have this in, in Finland as well. Interestingly enough, though, apparently he gets to serve in the branch of the military where they can still practice and do tournaments and stuff. So it's like uh, they have like an athlete branch or something like that. So from what I understand, he can still practice some throughout the week and he can actually still participate in the big events. Yeah, it's like the sports, whatever. Yeah. So I'm hoping for him at the very least he can still do it. I don't know exactly. Um, he's doing public outreach. Is he? Okay. He gets extra pay. I have no idea how much that would be. But this is what he says. I will begin my mandatory military service on April 15th. The duration is 6 to 12 months. I will be part of the Finnish Defense Forces Sports School, which allows me to train during my conscript service. I won't be able to participate in all of the events during this time, but I will try to participate in Dream Act Dallas and the World Championship Tournament. Okay. So basically nothing changes except the man has got a second job that he has to work for 6 to 12 months. <laughs> yeah, so he's got slightly less time to focus on esports. 
How much time do you think you have to invest into, um, like, maintaining that rank? Like, say, for example, Serral doesn't play for a month, and then he goes up against, I don't know, somebody outside of the top 10. He would still murder him. I don't think that would really do anything. But it's more or less, I guess... Uh, no, I don't think you need to practice six hours a day. I think if you want to maintain your skill level, you can probably do like five games. And you'd probably remain roughly at the same level. The problem is obviously that the competition is not doing five games a day. So just staying at the same level does not mean that you're, you know, you're going to stay there for a very long time. But Yeah, the Balance Council finally found a way, though. Isn't that incredible? The Balance Council has found a way to directly specifically nerf Serral. That's what they've been trying to do for years. All the nerfs to Zerg that they've done, they have been specifically done to handicap Serral a little bit, right? Now they've forced him to go to the military. I see how it is. Oh yeah, yeah. The Bone Trench. This Bone Trench, dude. That was my nickname in- No, 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 fortress. hold up. Do I think Zerk will now get buffed? No, 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 definitely not. What comes next? A girlfriend? That would be bad. We beat you on char before. We can Several abominations again. lost in this region have acquired a you peculiar mutation, granting them extreme resistance to psionics. Me. If recovered, their mutations can be incorporated into the swarm. Alright. Oh my god. Oh, they're so fast on creep. But we're humanity's last best hope against Whee! threats like you. <laughs> Uh, that is an abomination. My queen, General Warfield has called in a Gorgon. It is headed for our hive cluster. Yeah, what if the Zerk Cabal, or sorry, the StarCraft II balance team, sends in their final weapon if this military service does not work out? What if they send in a girl? Oh no! That'll be their final plan. If this if this military thing does not cut to the core of Serral's strength. Discovered usable essence within Zerg biomass. Valuable sequences. Wait. Recover oh, I accidentally loaded some units into an overlord. I was wondering if maybe I spawned in that way. Um, I think I'm just going to make the units that I get for each mission. Can I move up here? I wonder if there's any expansions in any of these areas. Because they seem to be hiding bases here and there. There is something here. Three units? Hype. I got a command center now, by the way. This is a strange army, man. Strange, but amazing. Okay. I don't know if there's any real reason for me to kill this. Yeah, there is a base over there. Okay. Um, I guess I'll fly my command center on over in this direction. I feel like that's a pretty good plan. There is some money over here too that I can gather. Oh, snap. Oh, that was my backup plan. Uh, that was the one that was supposed to go onto the tower, but I think it's fine. I'm about to destroy you, Kerrigan. Oh, here's another Scourge Nest right over here. Huh. Okay, so that Scourge Nest is gonna wakey wakey. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. I'll make uh, 
another couple of hatcheries. We'll get armor upgrades here. I'll go for a second one of those. Can I go hive yet? No, I cannot go hive. I can make abominations over here too, by the way. Which is kind of nice. Okay. Oh. Oh, jeez. Do they walk faster on creep as well, or what? Okay. Onwards. Deploy drop pods. So there's one right over here that I can easily use. Get another Gorgon into the fight. Okay. Oh, I don't have a banelings. nest. I keep trying to make banelings here, but I can't. Because it turns out banelings require nests. Crazy concept, I know. Um, I should probably put down a hydralist then, though, just in case. Why didn't I just get all the Gorgons at once? Because we're in the Bone Trench, dude. There's not enough space. There's only so much boning you can do in the trench. I mean, um, there's only so many Gorgons that you can fit in the trench. There you go. Okay. Uh, did I ever get my... Yeah, I did get those. Jeez, there's a lot of supply depots over here. Oh, medic! <clears throat> Not proud of that one. Decent performance, but a little cringe. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Not my command center! Are you guys dropping units? Oh no, that's the Metavex that messed me up. Okay. So I did lose a lot of stuff just now. Would you say that's an issue? Or a feature. Maybe you consider it a feature. <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot about these things hitting air. Gorgon is almost to the hive cluster. We need another scourge nest. Careful. Uh, their anti-air is nothing amazing, but it works. Okay. So that should be another Gorgon down. Judging by that shaking, I guess it is. Two down. There's more coming. Spread the creep. Bring in a Gorgon. Crush Kerrigan. These units are very strong. Oh, I do need some detection over here, though. Looks like I have one Overseer still. That's nice. I'll make some new ones. Honestly, the Queens on Mass are really strong. What if you activate, like, seven of these Scourge Nests at the same time? One more Kerrigan level somewhere. I actually don't remember where. But we'll find it. 
I think it's down here, actually. I think it's over here. I got another command center. So many command centers now. Okay. Each one will trigger as soon as the next one activates. Oh, uh, okay. I think I did give this a try at some point. Couple of creep tumors, just a few. I guess I'll activate this next one. Because we can. Am I even supposed to go this way? I think I'm going the wrong way. There's an Archangel. I've been trying to get my hands on one of those for years! Nest. Call in another Gorgon. We must please that on creep. Oh my god. I never realized how large these things are. When you're spawning right next to them. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually killed this base like this. Yeah, I went the wrong way. That's what she said? Really? Good for you, man. Guys in the chat just built differently. You love to see it. Let me just bring my uh, my abominations to the front for that anti-air. Hey, is that a warhound? I got 81 drones in a campaign mission. It's a bit much. Got another one. Interesting how Just abominations are so much better than ultralists. Never, Kerrigan. Better, but boring. Gorgon, my queen. Lots of bones in that trench. All Zerg. You'll join them soon enough. Whoa. That's a bit mean, don't you think? Jeez. I find that very rude of you, dude. We were just having a friendly little war. Lots of people dying, and you decided to... He's a bit toxic. Gate control? Gate control? Oh, there's a reinforcement path. Is that normally here? I don't think so. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a bunch of predators going to town. Bunch of widow mines over here, too. Don't like that. Or, sorry, I don't mean predators. Blizzard renamed those in Diablo 4. In Diablo 4, they used to have a predator title, but they renamed it to enemy instead. Because apparently predators, the word is no longer allowed. It's good on free day. Lows, lows. Thank you very much. What happens if you destroy the entire base? I do need to find the bonus objective though. Oh, there's a gold base over here. Okay, so I've killed the main area. Place on a creep tomb over here too. Our are under 
Uh, the bane links are spitting bane links. Biomass obtained. Good sequences. That gorgon is almost to the hive cluster. We need another scourge nest. Didn't I activate it? Pretty sure I did. I guess I'll activate a couple for good measure. Get another Gorgon into the fight. Dude, there's so many bases on this map. Another Gorgon down. Keep it up. Awaken more Scourge Nests. Didn't mean to BM drop you right there, Amon. The the or Dominion. whatever your I'm name is. Gonna lose it. Oh, I think you are. This is your last goal, isn't it? Unacceptable. Okay. I think I've activated a whole load of them all at the same time. That should be that. Get a strike team to that score Can you believe it? Before the Zerg activated. I know, I know. We've reached a new old time peak, guys. I managed to defeat the mission. Maybe not. Didn't I already activate another one? And before it bugged out because I activated too many. Oh, no, no, no. They were just instantly cute. <laughs> GG's.